folks. So based on some viewer requests, I've uh, decided I'm going to try growing something different. Uh, I'm going to grow some different types of trees uh, in the next little while. And uh, the first one I'm going to start trying to grow is the uh, Kentucky coffee tree. Now this is a tree that grows very large. Uh, there's a male and female where the female produces a pod that you can take the seeds from and make a sort of substitute for coffee. So you could try that if you ever uh, run across one. Uh, they say it's not a great substitute for coffee, but it's kind of interesting that you can do that. That's how the tree got the name. Apparently the Native Indians uh, used this as a substitute for coffee and, and drank it. So that's kind of interesting. Another thing is this particular tree is considered an evolutionary anachronism, uh, which means that it was propagated throughout the years by animals that are no longer uh, with us, they're extinct. Birds disperse a lot of the tree seeds that go on and to actually uh, produce viable uh, germinating seed in the wild. And with this seed, that's not possible with birds. There's no real current animal that can uh, chew on these. Uh, it's also poisonous, the seeds, so beyond some prehistoric animals, there was no way to spread these trees. It's actually a fast-growing tree, and it's used to make uh, some fine uh, cabinetry work, so that also uh, is some extra interest um, to most people. So let's have a look at the seeds. So here's just a handful of some uh, seeds. There's been no attempt to germinate these, it's just these are some seeds that I had. So what I did is I tried to uh, begin the germination process uh, two different ways. Uh, this, type, this type of plant doesn't require any uh, stratification, like no um, going through a winter process, like storing in the cold for six months, uh, etc. Like a lot of um, different tree seeds. So that's a lot more straightforward. So I did a lot of research on the internet. Uh, anytime you start seeds like this, you should definitely just spend at least five or ten minutes on the internet and see what you know people say work, see what people you know say not to do. Uh, you can save a lot of time. So I ran across two methods that were suggested to be successful. And uh, actually in this case, the one that I had read more about being successful didn't seem to work as well for me. So one of the methods was just to take the seeds and pour boiling water on them. Uh, I know that seems kind of crazy, but some people did have success, and I, I believe them. It doesn't necessarily work for me. Uh, it might. I'm not sure yet. So here's the seeds I used the boiling water method with, and this was around 48 hours ago. And they look pretty similar to before I used the boiling water method on them, so I'm not too sure that it's doing anything. It's hard to tell, but when you compare to the ones here, I used a different method. I used a scarification method, where I basically took a hacksaw and I just went like this, just just a one way, other way, just a little tiny nick, and that seemed to have given it enough of away the water to get into the main part of the seed because really the seed is just inside the whole thing and the outer coat on these is uh, just like a protective shell. It's like picture a, a pecan where you have this hard shell and really what's inside it is, is the seed. So I can show you that where the seeds have gone. Let me pull them out. So I'm going to compare the seeds. This is the hot water method. This is from the uh, scarification method. And you can see that the shells are expanding to two or three times the size. And because of that, the outer um, skin is just breaking off because it's just stretching uh, so much. And you can tell that th these are totally uh, growing into a tree. It's really uh, interesting. 
actually. So next I'm just going to plant these into some cups. And then we'll see how they do through the next stage. So I just wanted to give you an update on my Kentucky coffee tree plant. Uh, it's been 25 days now. And here's how it looks. See, it's a little, little tree. It just popped up from the soil, uh, I guess around five days ago. It, it just came up like a shoot really fast. You can see these little nodules growing along the side. So I guess that's going to be the side branches. But it's kind of a cute little plant. It's growing so fast though, so I'm kind of worried. Since it's winter here, I'm not going to be putting it outside for at least quite a few months. Probably, um, I guess ap late April or May, I'll put it outside. But yeah, so far so good. This one's from the scarification me method. Uh, the ones that I that the ones that I did the hot water method, they just didn't seem to work. Uh, they did swell up a little bit, but not much. I think it just I didn't use hot enough temperature. I was trying not to uh, damage things and not go too hot, but from what I've read uh, afterwards, I probably should have used uh, hotter temperature water for that method. The other two that I scarified, uh, they did start to grow, but they kind of rotted. That might have been my fault. I, I pre-moistened the soil. This was completely dry, uh, organic uh, potting soil that I had indoors. I think I overwetted it. That's likely what happened, at least in what I think happened. Uh, and when this one just started coming up, I decided to check the uh, root. And these did. this does put down a big tap root before it even comes up out of the ground. What happened was I was wondering why I didn't see any growth, even though uh, things seemed to uh, swell up underneath. So I kind of dug it up a little bit, and I could totally see this long tap root. The problem with this one, I planted two to a pot to start, and... So it's kind of off to the side. So what I want to do now is center it. So I'm just going to dig that out. So I'm just going to dig that out and move it. I'm just going to loosen it with the fork here. And there you can see the roots. It's pretty amazing for a plant that's only 25 days old. So I'm carefully trying to put it back. I think next time I do one of these, I'm going to be using an even deeper pot since this is almost touching the bottom. But this definitely was a big enough pot to, to start one in. Um, I'm just going to have to move it to another pot fairly soon. There, looks good. So I hope you enjoyed this. I plan on uh, starting some more uh, tree seed starting videos in the future.